Hi, my name is Christopher Warren. I do art under that name and also under Beatnik Prints, P-R-I-N-T-S. Um, and my art usually consists of uh, topographic map reinterpretations. Um, right at the beginning, it pretty much cut everything off at the knees. I had two projects that were a definite go that got canceled, and then two projects that were like in the works that got canceled, and then some other ones that just were kind of an inkling at first, and they all, all got canceled just very swiftly all at once. Um, there's still new calls for public art going out on the internet, so that's promising that um, the public art that is the majority of my income is still happening and hopefully I get selected to do some of it. That's, that's not new to COVID. That, that part's regular all time stuff. Yeah, so initially I wanted to do a mural of the topography specifically of my neighborhood. I'm up on uh, near Iris and Folsom, so the Parkside neighborhood. And <clears throat> I was going to a couple neighbors to try to ask them if I could paint on their fence or something and no one was answering their doors obviously and i turned around after this one house i didn't get an answer for a second time i turned around and saw these people i'd talked with before in their yard gardening and i went up and talked to them and i asked if i could paint something on their fence and they said what can you do with this old tree that got struck by lightning years ago and it's just been a, a 20 foot stump in their yard essentially since then and I remember, I've, I've lived here long enough that I remember when that tree got struck by lightning, it was super loud. So I've, you know, in these times of COVID, a lot of people are going on walks with their dogs or just for, to, to get themselves out on a walk and having conversations with different people they see along their routes. So I felt that once talking with these homeowners, painting this tree in an interesting way would be a great way to spark conversation with neighbors as they walk by and as we've been painting like the first day I was painting with um, my neighbor who's been helping me um, like within an hour people walked by and said oh I remember when that tree got struck by lightning and just the, it, that conversation started right away and so many people remember exactly when that tree got struck by lightning which it's is, is cool because I, I absolutely do as well. So I've, I've enjoyed that part and just talking with community members and people rolling down their windows and just screaming like, we love the tree as they drive by. So it's been great. Got to, got to meet some other neighbors, actually have a first conversation with people I've seen many times in the neighborhood but never actually talked to. So that, that um, just that simple connectivity of talking with people you see around all the time and haven't had the chance to actually introduce or talk in any way. I think that's kind of what the tree is, is bringing out. And I've seen other people talking on the sidewalk about it in separate groups while we've been painting. So it's not just while we're painting. So that's kind of cool. It's been a great little holdover while uh, I apply for other art projects um, the past couple weeks. Hopefully I'll hear good on some of those eventually, um, but it's been, it has been nice to just um, work on something for hours on end that's not inside my house. That has not been the case otherwise. Uh, so like I actually get to come home from a day of work. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. That's good. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, working on stuff on my computer for 10 hours or what have you.